Yes, yes, people, welcome back and thank you for joining us for another episode from Carp Saw Mark 1-0. Feels like a little bit since we've done a carp video. I've uh, been busy with other things. Obviously, I'll spend a bit of time out in Austria fly fishing. And if you didn't check that video out, go see it after this one. Um, it hasn't also been a very good winter for fishing. Um, yeah. Joined a new syndicate. I've joined a new syndicate on a winter ticket and it's been flooded week in, week out. And is what it is. I managed to get one out at the start of the ticket, but so be it. It's not been an easy winter, mate, has it? Nah. But yeah, other than that, we've uh, been working quietly behind the scenes, uh, working on new events and programmes coming up in 2024. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more about that towards the end of the episode. Um, but yeah, the channel's been going for a little over 12 months now. Uh, back in October, we met up for uh, just a little social, celebrate filming 12 months since we first started our first episode at Lavender Hall. Um, but yeah, we had a little social at Arrow Meadow Fishery, um, the Estate Lake. Unfortunately, Baines couldn't be with us on this one. But we was joined by a new member of the Mark 1-0 team, Jewboy. He's a good friend of Jelly Babies. Um, he's not a veteran, but he is supposed to be a good angler. But we'll let you decide. And you might want to stick around for the end of the video, because Jelly's got a little giveaway that he wants to give away free to one lucky subscriber. But you can't see it till the end. Stick around till the end. Uh, beastie boys. <laughs> Practicing for the new form, aren't you, aren't we? There <laughs> you are, Bainsy boy. Look who it is. And he's only gone and bagged himself a sturgeon. The jammy bastard. Oh, let's go after Mark. Literally half an hour. We had this little beast, little margin spot, literally in there around 30 minutes ish. This little thing tore off. But it starts the week. Hopefully, we're going to get plenty more. Happy days, must do a little dance, son. Do a little ah. dance. <laughs> <laughs> Booty in there. <laughs> You're taking his time, isn't it? Yeah, do, yeah. Well, I'll let one go too soon once it turns like that. Belly's up. Yeah, yeah. Despite the quick start, it turned out to be a quiet first night. I pulled in the rods and headed around for breakfast. Just in time to catch Jelly and Jewboy behaving all domesticated like some kind of power couple. This is low and couldn't go, right? Really. Low as possible. Yeah. A bit of oil. A bit of oil. And then it cuts myself a pan then. Really? <laughs> Very close. What then boys shout it up? Who wants Dumbo? Who wants oh, <laughs> <yes>. minions? <laughs> <laughs> We'll have to go one each of them and one will have to have it in this dish here. I'll tell you what then, do you want to flick round here? Flick I'll flick round there. Sweet. 
Well, the other thing, I have got another little spoon if you want to just use that for flicking. Yeah, go on, check that. Then it turned out massive, they're going to take up the plate there. Yeah. No any problem, is it? Yeah, man, I, I should have just brought some proper plates for me, really. What was that? On, On that receiver, what colour? Red. One's that, the island? Yeah. It's a good story, Harris says it's a fish on the bank, isn't it? Yeah. Well, that's a quid. Is that recording? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? I said, there's a quid. <laughs> oh, is that? Oh, it's a... Love it. It's mad to think potentially it could stop us swearing, which I'll be very surprised because it just comes out Yeah, so I think that it just comes yeah. out for Good dog, it's going to a good course on that one. I'll f pay. There you go. <laughs> There's a quid. <laughs> off your session Joe. Is this a video? <laughs> <laughs> I've done way for you to take pictures. Yeah, first one from the estate like Arrow Meadow, 19 and a half pound. Happy days. A bit of a belly on it that one. Yeah, nice no fish mate. Well done with it.
Time to rest her. There we go. Finally had myself a carp. Got on a bit of a bad run this year with the carp. So it's nice to finally have one. Not one, but I actually had two. Early hours this morning. I think this is possibly the smaller of the two. Just going to flip round through the other side. Actually a nice looking carp. When she's calmed down. Yeah. Lovely little mirror. Let's get her back, we'll take a look at that other one. Got the cord, didn't you? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> God, man. There we go, number two. Maybe not so big, maybe smaller than the last one, but still. Happy days. Had a really terrible year on the carp fishing this year, so happy to have had two in the early hours. Absolutely buzzing. Look at that fin up. You see the shoulders on it, yeah, so some fat shoulders. There we go, the other side. Losing it, there we go. Yeah, it's definitely going to be better when it's bigger, eh? Two of my spots now producing fish. It was just a case of keeping that bait going in and repeating the process after each bite. On one spot, I was baiting the margin and then literally just lowering my rig down onto the baited area and then walking my line back up the bank to my peg. On the other spot, I was just clipping up to an island and then scattering ballies over the top with the throwing stick. I was fishing a third rod to the far margin where I'd seen fish showing and where I'm able to walk round to and bait up from. Nice, easy, simple fishing. The hardest part was avoiding the swans. South lot. Barely. Barely, barely. Let's get some fish care on yeah, that. <clears throat> uh, in my, you know, my bag, the uh, one that my tackle box is on. Should be in the packet. Still freshers in the pack eater, mate.
Yeah. Trust. That's how he's going to act he is, mate. He's not doing himself any fibers, is he? No, I can do this sword first. It's fair as soon as you get under him, he wants to go, man. Second fish out, this one on the old Josie Fritzel rig, once it's got you, you ain't getting off. <laughs> oh no, we can't put that in, can we? <laughs> uh, yeah, nice fish though. Joseph Fritz or Rig, where did that even just come from? <laughs> oh dickhead mate. Wasting me shit on you. You little prick. can see we've lifted a scale so we'll treat that <laughs> do you reckon this one wise yeah not as heavy as the last one I wouldn't have thought <coughs> nice fish though I don't like, did I? Oh, three, mate. On a white. <laughs> All that moaning you were doing about this morning yesterday, bro. That will pay out at some point, doesn't it? Bosh, yeah. Winner. Go on, Steve. Nice, bro. Great to fresh. Mm -hmm. 
Quite white, isn't it? Fat, yeah. Quite white. Right, let's see. Take that rod. I'll have a little look at that, mate. Right, I'm going to take it off. <laughs> Climb it. Yeah, it's basically, it's basically a duplicate of what I'm fishing. <laughs> It's not a duplicate, mate. It's a one-off. It's a one-off, bro. A duplicate. Just told boulders, it's the Derrick Bird rig, mate. It don't miss. I'm gonna pull this uh, net it, please. It's a proper little chunker, isn't it? Yeah. <coughs> what do you reckon? I'll put the scales on all Under the under the bed there. I find it hard with the dumpy one, it's a sort of little guy if it all. What's your money on? I'm gonna say I'm gonna say eighteen. Yeah, I'm thinking eighteen. I'll be surprised though. Seems really Yeah, yeah but he's yeah. wide and he's yeah. he's that way as well. He's still zeroed off to that map. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> oh, it's another... Oh, 19 and a half again. Another 19 and a half. See, it's hard to tell with the dumpies, isn't it, man? Yeah. I don't know, f***ing ass up. Third fish, another 19 and a half pounder. Little fat git. This one on the Derrick Bird rig, never misses. I should probably stop naming like dodgy people as the rig. But where are we going next with it, man? <laughs> oh, mate, that's it. The next one I'm thinking of is the Jimmy Savile special. You know, <laughs> you know which one will be the Jimmy Savile rig? The one that catches the little ones. <laughs> Oh Lord, shoot me. There's something wrong with me. <laughs> nice fish that is to be fair. Nice nice shape, innit? Oh Jimmy Savile. The shitter rig. Specialises in juveniles. <laughs> I'm so wrong. Well, Morning Jelly's week was getting off to a great start with a few fish. The same couldn't be said for Jewboy, as his first session for the Mark 1 Zero camera was turning into a bit of a shit one. I decided to take a little walk around the boathouse and drop some bait onto some spots that I might be able to return to and nick a bite from. And then suddenly, I get a shout for breakfast from Jelly.
Yeah. Anyway, a quick walk around there. Bash one out quick next to the boat house. Oh, mate, boys. <laughs> <laughs> you dirty meat cookers. <laughs> in, in a, in a non-eating accent, obviously. I would try, but I'm not posh. They sure ain't got far to go home, ain't it? Yeah, yeah. Walk up the field. Back at the, back at the boudoir. <laughs> That well. Stack in it. Stack in. The only problem is the sauce is in the van. Yeah. No sauce unless. Go and dry, bro. Go and dry. Unless you want to go Split and grab the sauce. Sauce. <laughs> Yeah, I'll go and grab the sauce, man. But or is it in the back? Yeah, yeah, be in the back somewhere. Joe! Joe! Another one. Yeah, he's under that line. Um, huh? So I'm bringing him over it now. I'm trying to bring him back over it now. He's yeah, shooting off it now. No, he's off the line now. It's free. How about that line's there, look. No, no, it's scooping there. That's right. Where's this one that large one, Robbie? The island, back of the island. Yeah. That orange and pineapple again, man. Huh? Can't get him in. Easy. Easy. Sweet. Yeah, I can all the f***ing stars, He should be having them as well. I bet they're circling that island in these margins.
Can you spaghetti on the f***ing pineapple? You got one, huh? Orange and pineapple. Yeah. Would you believe it? Got another Nicola Sturgeon. Off the back of an island. Uh, that's a spot that's produced two fish now, one carp, one sturgeon. Uh, been a very quiet day today, so nice to get this in the evening. Looks like it's lovely up there, fish showing everywhere. Yeah, another sturgeon in the bag. Let's hope some more carp. Action! It is a little one. Lord, been in that sack of water as well. Okay, another little comment. Early hours this morning. Yep. Start again. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, another little mirror, early hours this morning, around 4am, between 3 and 4am, not too sure, it's absolutely hammering down, got soaked in the rain. Uh, little margin spot, 15mm DNA bug pop up, over a few free offerings, happy days. Still got three nights left, hopefully we can keep them coming. Grab us a backlet. In the tackle box, you'll see her. <laughs> see the failed attempt to try and to throw the boilies. Well, then. It's like, you know, them left handed throws. <laughs> That's how the right hand went. All flibby jibber. Oh, the camera ain't gonna miss it, is it? Sweet. That's the badger.
Donja. Ja. Das ist hart, die auch nicht wahr. Ja. Oh, ich war das hat sch shit. Yeah. Is it? No, we're we're in the Oh, 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 oh. All right, all right. Lord Almighty. Trying that. Yeah. Jesus Christ, Kevin. All right, fish number four. Probably 16 pound ish. Another nice scaly one there. Happy days. Right, this sort of defo looks better. Nice of that side, isn't it? <laughs> Man, they slapped me in the face and see how high you went. Now they fully chinned me, man. Go and get that uh, video call on you, lad. Code, right over it. I know, eight I think we're done, aren't we? Trying to get it in before I got back, isn't it? You should have clipped that. Yeah. Should have took some line off. Paid a little bit more off and clipped it. Just trying to get you snagging up here. He loves it. He's going to get me throwing me round. Little <laughs> trouble maker. <laughs> <laughs> well, Yo, that's on it, that. Yeah, sweet, leave that. That's perfect, mate. The camera, I didn't get what you wanted for. Yeah, yeah. done ya. I think you should recast it <laughs> just, just for a laugh, like <laughs> just for the camera. <laughs> Yeah, first one of the session. Five days into a seven day. Only a little 13 pounder, but I know I ain't blanking now, so I'm well happy with that. Worth yeah, twice as heavy for how long I've waited. Oh. 
Uh, there's the other side, yeah. Showing us, man. Well, happy. Yeah, man. Here we are. Another dumping mirror. Sixteen pound. Absolutely stunning little fish. It's been pissing it down all afternoon. As soon as the sun sun comes out this evening, this little one came out to play. Show you the other side, man. Pretty little fish, this. It's going to be a lump when it's bigger. Yeah. Stunning little mirror. So we get more in the night. Just about to eat dinner. Margin rod's flipped off again. We've got another nickler. A bit smaller than the other two. But still, it's another bite. Happy days. I'm going to get my dinner. Well, absolute carnage this morning. Three runs, literally minutes apart. Went absolutely mental this morning. Big change in the weather. We had a lot of rain the last couple of days. Brightened up a bit this morning and they went off. Another little mirror, possibly the smallest of the three. Still having it. Margin spot again, probably the fourth fish I've had off that margin. Flipping round, show you the other side quick. Yeah. Pretty mid, mid double. Go check out the other two. Here we go, fish number two from this morning's flurry. Slightly bigger than the last one. 17 2. And she mad. She's mad. Look at that. Stunning little mirror. Might not be the biggest fish, but they're definitely pretty. Number two from this morning's, this morning's run. I'm going to flip round, show the other side. Yeah, lovely little fish, happy days, show you number three. This 
one's angry. She is, 18 pound on the dot. Again, stunning little mirror. Third fish from the flurry this morning. Literally 15, 20 minutes apart between the three. Fish number 10 in total. Still got two knots left. Let's hope for the big one. Let's try and flip around quick, show the other side, she's a bit lively. She's ready to go back. We'll get her back. While I was having plenty of fun catching fish, things had quieted down a little bit for Jelly in his swim. In fact, I've seen very little movement from his bivvy in the last 24 hours. I decided to call in air support to see if he was okay. 527, ready for departure. We've been cleared for takeoff. Nice little surprise this morning. My little friend Barry the Barbel came round for breakfast. Tiny little thing. Little surprise. Didn't even know these were in here. Bailiff didn't say anything about Barbel in the lake, so wasn't expecting this one. Still, immaculate little fish. Real clean. Let's get it back. That turned into a nice little session there, mate, didn't it? Plenty yeah. of fish, plenty of fun. Oh, certainly. Some of us had more fish than others, I'll give it that. Well, I don't know, but uh, Jude Boy enjoyed the cooking. <laughs> oh, he did. <laughs> that brings us to the end of the episode. But first, we're just going to tell you a bit about uh, what's going on throughout the uh, duration of the next year or so. 
Uh, we're going to be linking up some great charities, some great events, um, one of which Phoenix Heroes. Um, some of you might remember that we started collecting for a pot with the, uh, the fire count, uh, £1 for every uh, F word fired on the channel. Um, we're going to continue building that up as we have done throughout this episode. Um, but we're also going to do a few little challenges like the Three Peaks Challenge. We'll yeah. be joining Phoenix Heroes for the Three Peaks Challenge in May, I think. May, yeah. In May. Uh, so keep your eyes out for that. But any uh, money that we raise, we're going to put into a Just Giving Fund and uh, all the money we donated to Phoenix Heroes once we've accumulated to a decent amount. Uh, but yeah, keep our eyes out for that throughout the, the next year. Um, we're also going to be going back out to Pegasus Lakes, not once but twice this year. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Back out to see Pegasus Pete. 16th of July special, and also me and Jelly are going to be uh, competing in the uh, Anglo-German Fest out at Pegasus Lakes in October, I believe. October. So again, uh, plenty more going on. And also, we're back out in Austria to see uh, Rick Seibern in August. So loads going on throughout the channel for, uh, throughout the next uh, year or so. Uh, keep, keep watching, lots going on. Um, you may also see the Mark 1-0 hoodies. Yeah. Something coming uh, very soon in the spring. The rifles to rods hoodie. Um, just give us a thumbs up, just so we can gauge any interest on uh, merchandise that we're going to be rolling out in the in the spring. So just give us an idea. Hit a thumbs up in the comments. Let us know who's interested and who's not. Um, but yeah, that's uh, bringing us to the end of this episode. Um, I think that's everything, isn't it? Yeah, no, not oh yet. no, oh, yeah, not yet. Not yeah. Prize time. Uh, Jelly has kindly got something to give, to give away to one lucky subscriber. Jelly, what we got? Da, da, da. Nice. We have a Sabre Supra compact rod pod. Free rod pod. Basically, subscribe to the channel and you're in with a chance to win it. When we got to get to 250 subscribers, we'll draw it. So yeah, to be in with a chance of winning this brilliant prize, just hit that subscribe button. Once we get to 250 subs, we'll pick a winner, completely free. Don't forget, if you're liking our videos so far, hit that like button, give us some support. We just want to say a special thank you to Alan at Arrow Meadow Fisheries for giving us his support in this episode. Top man. Good man, Alan. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. But for now, it's Mike one zero out. out. <laughs> See, I know I'd f*** it up. Do you want to go again? No, mate, no. Depends, but mate, if you're happy with that. I, I just knew I wouldn't get it in time, you know what I mean?